and hitting level 100 guys that's a huge milestone oh my goodness look at all the coins as well that is crazy guys 100 it feels crazy entering the triple digits what's going on you guys ray here and welcome back to another video so today we are going to be jumping into a versus video between daryl and bull now they both had increase in movement speeds in recent updates so they are both very very good in the current meta um but i want to discuss some of their differences and similarities and in the end figure out who is the best right now so let's jump right into it all right you guys so let's talk a little bit more about daryl so daryl is a tank character which means he has a little bit more health compared to the rest of the brawlers in the game now what this helps out with is he can be a lot more aggressive than the other brawlers now what this is really really useful for in certain game modes say smash and grab is he can apply a lot of pressure take a lot of damage and use his health to push the other brawlers back so other brawlers on your team can gain position over the center mind so another thing to note about Daryl is that he is a shotgunner. So there are only three shotgunners in the game, Daryl, Bull, and Shelly. So the thing that is awesome about the shotgunners is that they do a lot of damage from a close range. So he can apply a lot of pressure if you can time your movements correctly against the other team. This can be very, very useful in certain game modes where there's a lot of brush, where you want to get up really close to the brawler and kill a brawler really, really quickly. Now, if you're able to take out a brawler on the other team, Team, this can allow your team to push up and secure positions, say on smash and grab which is very very beneficial so another thing that's very unique about Daryl is that he can shoot twice compared to the other shotgunners with one of his shells so this allows him to be a little bit more forgiving than the other shotgunners so if there's a bunch of people grouped up and you shoot twice you can very very certainly guarantee that you're gonna apply some damage to the entire team this is really really beneficial being that you can ensure that you're getting damage off on the team leveling up your super pushing the other teammates back so your team can secure a certain position and gain the gems if you're playing on smash and grab so now talking about Daryl's super so Daryl's super is a little bit more risky compared to bulls but can be very very effective in running away now the thing that I like about Daryl and bulls super is that you can be even more aggressive if you have your super you can jump in do a bunch of damage and when you get low you can use your super to escape now there are also different utilities to their super being that you can rush in if you're dead and help secure a position with your team very very good for mobility being that you can gain a certain position a little bit faster um, I really really enjoy Daryl's super um, it can cover a lot of ground and is very very fast and if used effectively it can do a lot of damage another thing that we have to take in account is Daryl's star power now Daryl's star power is a little bit under Overwhelming, being that all he can do is in his super he takes decreased damage while he's in his super now Daryl's super already goes very very fast so it's hard to target him while he's in his super so it's not crazy effective um, it's just kind of a nice bonus so Daryl very very good right now in Brawl Stars along with that increased movement speed Daryl is very very effective right now in Brawl Stars so now taking a closer look at Bull so Bull respectively has a little bit more HP than Daryl so this this allows him to be somewhat more aggressive in certain situations. Um, he can get in, take a lot of damage from the team, and apply a lot of damage to the other team. So this is very effective in game modes like smash and grab, being able to push the other team back, and being that distraction for your gem carriers to scoop up the gems. So now taking a closer look at Bull's attack. So Bull on paper does a little bit more than Daryl, however you have to take into account that Daryl shoots twice compared to Bull. So the thing that kind of goes against Bull is that sometimes you can miss a bunch of your shells on an opponent and miss out on a lot of damage where Daryl's shots are a little bit more forgiving. Um, but Bull, if you get close and you time your shots correctly, which takes a little bit of practice um, to get down, um, if you land that shot, he can be very, very devastating. He can do a lot of damage. So now looking at Bull's super. So I like to think that Bull's super is a little bit more controllable. Um, it doesn't go as far and doesn't go as fast. You can really pinpoint the position that you want to land on. Um, if you have to go in and attack 
an opponent, maybe they have a lot of gems or they have a high bounty, being able to get close to that brawler and take a lot of damage to that brawler is really, really effective using Bull Super. Another thing to note about Bull Super is that it's very, very useful in certain situations, being that he can take down walls. Um, this finds very good utility in game modes such as Brawl Ball, taking out the boxes so people can score a little bit easy. Um, game modes like Heist, being able to take down walls so people can destroy the safe a little bit more easily. There's a lot of things that you can do with Bull Super, being that you can take down the walls. So I feel like Bull Super has a little bit more utility to it. Maybe not as much escape potential. However, his super kind of makes up for that loss, being that he can take out certain um, barriers. So now talking about Bull's star power. So I think Bull's star power is a little bit more beneficial than Daryl. So when Bull reaches 50% health and under, he gains an increased reload speed. So this has much more utility in it compared to Daryl's that he protects himself while he's in his super. Um, you can really use this star power to your benefit in game modes where you need to apply a lot of damage. If you're already going in being super aggressive and you know you're going to die, you can really put out a lot of damage against the other team. Also, Bull has that little intimidation appeal to his star power, being that once you see him raging, once he's activated his star power, he can really kind of deter someone's movements, being that maybe someone was just about to be really aggressive towards him. However, his star power is activated so they might not want to risk getting close to the bull so you can use that to push other brawlers back being very scary to the other team so I think I like bulls star power a little bit better than Daryl's and I think it's a little bit more effective so now what we're gonna do we're gonna jump into games with each brawler and kind of compare their abilities in game and um, we're gonna take them into smash and grab just to show you how good they can be as a gem carrier as a very good aggressor being able to push him back and things like that following that we'll come back to at the very end and and discuss who I think is the better brawler right now in Brawl Stars. So let's jump right into it. All right, you guys, so we're starting out on Boombox with Bull. So let's jump right into it and see how we can do. Okay. All right, so things that I like to do with Bull is that he can be a very, very good gem carrier. However, you have to switch kind of your focus if you are the gem carrier. If you're not the gem carrier, you can be very aggressive and a very good uh, brawler that can push back the other team for your team. So let's jump right into it. This is a great map for Bull. Okay. Okay, applying that damage. Let's take out the Pam if we can. Okay, we weren't able to. However, we secured the middle, and it looks like that spike is very, very in a bad spot. He's kind of out of um, his area. Okay, here we go. We got two gems. Once they start to come in, we can um, make sure they get back. We can do a lot of damage to them. Okay, the thing that I really like about this map is once you secure the middle, it's very, very difficult for the other team to um, push in. Okay, here we go. We got seven gems already. We're doing very, very well. Okay. So the main goal on this map is to gain control over the middle and keep it. Keep it as long as you can. So let's heal up a bit. Okay, good. We got eight gems. All right, doing some damage, doing very good damage. Keeping them back. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're not really the gem carriers, so we are just trying to apply pressure. All right, so we got to be careful for the Mortis. We don't know where the Mortis is, and he's going to jump in right when we get towards our spawn. I can guarantee he's lurking somewhere. There he is. Okay. All right, took him out very quickly. That's a very nice thing about shotgunners. They can do a lot of damage if the brawler can get really close. Okay, very good. That was a great game to start on. Let's jump into the same map with... Daryl. Okay, jump it back to the home screen. We are getting close to 100, guys. Holy man, we might get it in this video. Okay, jumping into it. Let's go with Daryl on the same map and show you guys just how good he is. Now, things that you have to keep in mind about Daryl is that he has a little bit less health than Bull. So you have to be a tiny bit less aggressive. You can still be very aggressive. He has a lot of health. As you can see, we have just about double as much health as any other brawler on our team. Also, we have to take a look at the current brawlers that we're going up against. We have some lobbers, so we have to be careful um, once we gain control. We don't, we're not necessarily safe against the barley. Okay. All right, let's try and take out the Brock. There we go. Took out the Brock. Very good. Now, with that increased movement speed, we can really, really um, get away from some of these brawlers. We can take a little bit of damage. Oh, there's the Primo. Let's try and get away. Okay. All right, so they got control. Looks like Brock is using his super. That was very good at pushing him back. 
We lost kind of our cover though, which is kind of tricky. All right, okay, we were almost able to take out the Primo. Let's get rid of this Brock here. Okay, good. So we got control again. All right, dodging as best we can. Very good. All right, so let's take out the Brock. There we go. All right, let's take out the um, Primo. All right. All right, let's use our super to get the gems and get the heck out. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, we got seven. So that decreased damage actually helped in that situation because we rolled through the Barley's poison. All right, so we got seven gems. We're the gem carriers, so we got to be a little bit more safe. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, we got the um, the Primo. Very good. Okay, let's back off. Brock is going to use his super. Let's get out. Okay. Stay alive, Brock. We got the countdown on our side. Okay, we'll pick those up. Okay, we didn't. We need one more. Okay, so we're in our spawn, so this is a good um, position we're in. Okay, we should be able to take out the Primo. All right, Jesse dropped down that turret as well. Very good. Okay. All right, let's just roll up here. Kind of deter them from um, getting in that area. All right, good. All right, so let's heal up while we can. Take them to the turret. They're going to take a lot of damage from the Jesse. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's what I like to see. Another very good game. A little bit um, less easy, <laughs> but it still worked out very well in our favor. So very good. Two for two. Let's jump into the other smash and grab map with Bull. Okay. See how we can do. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to try and be really aggressive. We want to take control over that center mine right away in the beginning. And see what we can um, do after that. Okay. All right. So this game or this um, map is a little bit different compared to the other one, being that it's a little bit harder to secure and keep control over the middle. Um, but we do have a Jesse, which is nice to have on your team in Smash and Grab. Okay. Doing some damage to the bull. All right. Bull's gonna get away. Okay. We got two gems. We're gonna be that gem carrier, guys. We can pressure the middle. We're going up against a Piper and a Brock. So we can um, use... We can we can kind of skill dodge them if we can. Okay, let's try and not take any damage here. Very good. All right. Piper's doing a good job at doing a lot of damage to that bull. So let's just keep being that gem carry. We got five. All right, six. Cool. All right, we took a little bit of damage from the Brock. We got to be careful. He's probably going to get his super very soon if he doesn't have it already. All right, good job, Piper. All right, let's try and, okay, let's get away. All right, we got to make sure we keep um, these gems safe. We got a lot of gems for our team. Now, we're down one one brawler, so we have to be a little bit more careful. We got to wait for our brawler to come back to push up. All right, here we go. All right, taking more damage. All right, we died, dang it. Bull was lingering. That's the tricky thing about this map. Bull can be very, very um, tricky. So we got our super. We can jump in if we can. All right, let's try and take as little damage as we can. Let's heal up before. All right, let's jump in. We just want to reset the timer. Oh, so close, guys. So close. That was a close game. Unfortunately, we can't win them all. That bull got us in the very end while we had a bunch of gems. We should have kind of kept an eye on him where he was, but he was staying hidden in the brush and jumped out at the last second. That was tricky. Okay, so let's jump into a game. We're definitely, hopefully we hit um, 100 in this game. That'd be awesome. So let's jump into a game with Daryl on the same exact map. Okay, here we go. So hopefully we can show that Daryl's shots are going to be a little bit more forgiving. We can pump out a little bit more damage because we don't have to be so um, really pinpoint with our attacks. We can really um, ensure that we're going to do at least some damage if we shoot at someone. Okay, so we got a Jesse and a Brock. They got a lot of long range, um, not super like tanky brawlers on their team. So we might have somewhat of an advantage. Okay, so let's get in here. Nice. Okay, so we did 800 damage at um, max range there. So that's very good. Okay, let's let's push back this Piper. She's she is way out of her element here. She, <laughs> she's straight away from home there. All right, here we go. So we got three. This Brock is doing a great job. Holy man. Okay, let's heal up. All right, he just keep he's just keeping an eye on us. He's got a super. 
He's landing almost every single shot. Let's scoop up these gems while he can. Okay. Let's grab the this too as well. Okay, so we got our super so we can be a tiny bit more aggressive. Let's take out the Piper if we can. We got eight gems. Very good. We got nine gems. We're being that gem carrier. It's working out good. We need one more gem. One more gem. Come on, spawn. Okay, I would have felt a little bit more comfortable if we got that. That gem, just because it looks like he might die. Stay back, Brock. Alright, I hope he stays back. Let's just scoop this up. Just be safe. We're not going to die very quickly because we got full health. Alright, good thing we did because it looks like the Brock died. Okay, nice. Alright, good, good, good. It looks like we're going to win this. Unless they do something really crazy here in the end. Alright. Having some fun with the super. I've said so many times that Daryl Super is really, really fun. It can make some really, really funny moments. So guys, picking up the star player, very cool. So now, after playing four games, two with each brawler, let's jump back to the very end and um, come to a conclusion as to who is the better brawler. And hitting level 100, guys, that's a huge milestone. Oh my goodness, look at all the coins as well. That is crazy, guys, 100, it feels crazy, entering the triple digits. That's awesome. So let's jump to the home screen. All right, you guys, coming back here at the end with a little recap and who I think is the better brawler. So taking a look at Bull again, he has a lot of health. He can apply that pressure. I think his star power is a little bit better and his super has a little bit more controllability, but it's not as good at escaping. Um, it's not as fast and not as long as Daryl's. Now, Daryl, his shots or his main attack, his basic attack is a little bit more forgiving compared to Bull's, being that he can almost ensure they land at least some damage towards the brawler he's shooting at. Um, he has a little bit less health, however, I feel like he makes up for it with his um, attack, being that he is very, very forgiving. Also, his super does a tiny bit less damage, however, it's very good for escaping and doing some crazy stuff. Being able to, like, if someone dies on your team, drops a bunch of gems, you can jump in, maybe catch a wall, and uh, scoop up the gems and hit a wall and then bounce back to safety um, if you time it right. Um, it can be a little bit more risky, however. So my final conclusion as to who I think is the better brawler, I think right now in the current meta, I think Daryl is a little bit better. I think Bull's star power is much better than Daryl's. However, Daryl is just a little bit better. His health is less. However, his attack, he just does way more attack. Um, he outputs a little bit more damage because he shoots twice. Um, I think Daryl right now is the solid pick um, amongst the tanks. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, make sure if you did, leave a like. Also, comment below on who you think is the better brawler out of Daryl or Bull. Um, this is my opinion. I just think he's better, but I want to know what you guys are thinking. So with that being said, you guys, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.